you meet people when it comes to hunting that you know you, you're like man this is just amazing to see an extended family like this and then of course with the lees it's just been like their blood almost i mean so um, my wife and i have really enjoyed spending time with the family and and just man um, watching as we've spent time with the family we've also watched back with life as a brand grow and just absolutely impressive now i'm mike lee and i am 72. i think my dad actually bought this place in 1945 mm -hmm. so it's been a while i'm michael harris lee 46. in the spring we, there was no such thing as going turkey hunting it was all going and fishing bass fishing especially. At the time then, we really didn't have, we probably had turkeys here, we just didn't know about it. Like yeah. we just didn't turkey hunt. Not, but we didn't have many, that's for sure. My name is Philip Vogler, uh, 49. One of the things that's always, I, I always look forward to, I mean, whether it's turkey season or it's deer season or whatever, is just coming down to the leaf farm. I mean, man, it's really impressive. Um, just the experiences I've shared with these folks. And I mean, I, I, I just, I can't get enough. I mean, I just look forward to deer season, turkey season, whatever the, whatever the season may be, just to get, you know, that, that close, friendly family relationship that, that, that you experience with, with, with the Lees. And I, I enjoy it. Me and Michael started turkey hunting together. And, uh, and I don't know how it come about, but on the opening day of turkey season, we always hunted together. He said, we've always turkey hunted for the last, I don't know, 10 years or whatever, or more than that, I can't remember. On opening weekend, we always go together. Um, we had three gobblers come in, and he's hunting with a 410. I'm hunting with a 12-gauge Mossberg 835 that can kill one at 70 yards. And he's got to have his little 410 pea shooter out there at 12 yards or whatever. And I'm looking down this Mossberg thinking I'm fixing to either miss this turkey or take his head slap off and I dead center a pine tree and the turkey. And I don't know if the shot killed the turkey or if the pine tree bark that blew off splintered and went in the turkey's head and killed him. But I killed that turkey and that kid is turkey. And that's been, golly, that's probably been 10 years ago. I don't know exactly when, but I know exactly how. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Michael, my son, we went a little spot back across the creek over here. And there was a bird gobbled all morning, but he would not come. So we, we got set up on that bird. He gobbled, 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 Michael called, he gobbled. So instead of the bird not coming to us, I snuck up on the bird, because I could, I could find him because he gobbled ever. But I shot that bird like 10.30 in the morning out of a tree. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first turkey I ever killed in my life on this farm, so. Some of these pines in here, I physically helped plant myself and that was I was probably 12 years old so there what's that 30 32 34 years old um, some of these pines and we thinned some and planted some more and I mean that's just a part of having land in Georgia really if you're not going to run just straight agriculture you, you farm pine trees and that's that's what we do. Deer and turkey is all about the habitat if you don't have the habitat, you're not going to have either one of them. And, and doing those planted pines and numerous, I got like 22 food plots mixed in those pines. And that really enhances the deer and the turkey. The quail's beginning to have a little comeback. There's lots of rabbits here now. And uh, it's just really enhanced the wildlife opportunities on this farm. So it's, it's a good thing. I guess. The last thing I have for you is, uh, are we going to kill one tomorrow? What, what, what do you think? I'll put it this way. We're going to be in a turkey-rich environment. The good Lord's the only one that knows what's going to happen. But we're going to be there giving her hell. That's the way I look at it. And I'll wear blisters on my tongue and a striker down to nothing and a box call till it bursts into flames to try to kill a turkey. Yep. So if we can get Big Mike on one tomorrow, I don't care if I ever kill another one. You gonna kill one tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Any questions? Bury me in Georgia. of that state line there's a no name road off 
highway to just pass the welcome sign It's where I was born, it's where I was raised Ain't saying I'm ready yet But that's the place I wanna be After my last breath, bury me in Georgia Let me rest in peace Underneath the pines, yeah Y'all put on my feet I don't care how many show up Yeah, or who reads my eulogy Just take me out to that graveyard Sing a send me home song Hook up 